Hey guys, it's me, Mr. G's Gaming here, and we'll get back to more of Let's Play Mother 3. Last time we gone right ahead towards Argilla Pass, which is where Alec lives. And yeah, and yeah, we actually encountered a lot of enemies, both rare, new, and common. They and we got the back attacks on pretty much both of them, and they and I should inform you. They all disappear at the end of chapter 1, save for the crag lizards that we just encountered. And any enemy that we encounter f um, from here on out, yeah, they you can go ahead and back attack them later on. So don't worry about back attacking enemies um, from here on out. Any enemies beforehand, yeah, you want to go all the way back and back attack them. Of course, during the fire incident, those enemies you can only back attack right there and then. If you're really serious about secrets that Tomato added in the fan translation and getting 100%, yeah, go back and play through chapter 1 if you haven't gotten all the back sprites yet. Thankfully, I already did, so let's go ahead and speak to Alec here. Alec? Oh, so you made it! Traveling through the forest have become quite dangerous indeed. But what are those extremely bizarre flying mouse things with bug wings? Well, you just described it, they're bizarre flying mouse things with bug wings. It seems one beat me right on the head too. I feel the perfectly though. No, 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 no. None of that matters. I know where Klaus might have gone. Well, that's good. According to my froggy intelligence, he's at my friend's house. Let's head there right now. What? Froggy intelligence? And Alex joins our party, and yeah, Alex is completely useless. But thankfully, we got another inventory slot. And don't worry, you don't play as Flint and Alec anymore in the future, so you don't have to worry about um, losing those items if you put, give them to Alec, alright? Flint! Oh man, I really need to do his voice, because I know I'm getting it wrong. The voice I gave him last time. When I said froggy intelligence not now, you thought what? Do you? Frogs used to... Work for my friends, as messengers. My friend is able to talk with frogs, lizards, and what have you. See that lizard over there, for instance? We just need to go in the direction it tells us. Is it a crag lizard? No, just an ordinary lizard. That looks like an arrow. Flint! You have my doubts about this of my friend, don't you? My friend, no. Friends are known as mad gypsies. Does that mean they come from Magicant? They have isolated away from civilization for a very, very long time. Sure they have. I am a lizard. I'll show you which direction you need to go. Round and round we go. Where I stop, soon you will know. As you notice, they are not in parentheses, so they're flat out saying speaking English opposed to these pigs that actually do speak in parentheses. Basically, you just want to go in the direction they're pointing to. Obviously, we have to go here because that's the only path we can go. Flint! I see you're not walking as flamets now. It seems the word Magipsies have made you curious. Yeah, are they from Magicant or what? And if they are from Magicant, which one? Mer Maria's Magicant, Ness Magicant, or some other Magicant? Or do they live in Magicant at all? The Magipsies have mysterious powers, and long have been protecting something here for a very long time. They're neither human nor beast, nor man nor woman. I have absolutely no idea how old they are. That explanation didn't help much, did it? Basically, they're strange. All of them. Every one of them. That's how they are. They are good-natured, though. I'll just tip my hat at that.
Okay, this one should point downwards, since that is the only way we can go. Actually, I don't really need these lizards because I already know where after this lizard would point to these frogs. WRONG! I am the WRONG frog! Right, right, right! Frog! The right frog! So we'll just hold right to hop over. And if you leave the map and come back, you'll find that the frogs have disappeared, but you can talk to this frog right here to free some of them, so don't worry. Anyways, here we are. We got this cow right here, which will give you yogurt. Well, not yogurt, but milk. Milk is interesting in this game. If you... They're kind of like the... Um, egg in Earthbound, whereas the egg, if you wait long enough, it'll hatch into a chick, and afterward, the old chick turns into a chicken, which you can sell for a lot of money. Milk is very similar in that way. It'll start off as milk, but eventually turn into rotten milk, which only heals 10 HP, but then after that, it'll turn into yogurt, which can heal up to 200 HP. Very nice. Also, there's a hot spring, so we could go ahead and take a bath with our father-in-law. And get fully healed. And yes, unlike in Earthbound, it does heal HP as well. As opposed to Earthbound, where it only cures status inflictions. And take a look, it's a shell, just like, um, Magicant in Mother 1. By the way... Oh, never mind, I must be thinking of... Yeah, I was thinking of the Mario games, where Mario and Luigi games, where you can... The later ones, after Super Star Sega, where you can open doors without actually going in, but... This is weird music. Lots of ladies. With beards! What's it, dude? Magnificent. You simply might have some of this cave. It's gorgeous. Oh. Humans? Oh, sleep. Uh, I remember Dondi Lion who used to comment on my videos back when I... and messaged me back when I was doing Cave Story. Uh, he doesn't do the, do the Dondi voice anymore, but... Uh, it makes me wish that I called him into this video just to do the voices, but nah, I'm not gonna bother him. Especially since we haven't talked to each other in over three years. I came from a cold place. Is that Alex? It is, is it? It is, it is. Good to see you, Smokums. My, my. Who are these two? Don't be rude, Ionia. Introduce us. Of course. Where are my manners? This is my good friend, Alex. And who's this with you? Flint, you'd say? Well, it's very nice to meet you. Now, let's get you all properly introduced to us, the Mad Gypsies. You're in luck, we're having a party today. Nearly all of us are here. First we have Aeolia, then there's Doria, Verdia, Lydia, and the one over there is Mixolydia. The only one not here is Locria. And if you don't know, there are actually different types of songs. You can call me Idol here. Hmm? You can't remember all that? Of course not, that's why I just introduced you, darling. And is that how it works? Right, Alechi Poo? It's been a while. I'm sure you... I'm glad to see you well. I heard you helped my grandson, Klaus. Do you know where he might have went? Oh, you mean the one that went back to his little squirt from a while ago? Now I suppose this Flint fellow is his father. Here. Yes, from... I can see the resemblance now. You have the same eyes. So... What about class? 
Where is he? Oh, he took off. He was in a great hurry. Imagine he's something about a fish and his mother. I was feeling generous at the time, so I sent him on the way with super powerful PSI technique. Super powerful PSI? I dope he'll be able to use it very easily, though. PSI? What's that? Haven't heard of that since... Mother and... Mother 2. So he left then? And you didn't stop him? What if something happened to him? Oh, get over yourself. We couldn't care less about you humans. Here one minute, gone the next. You poor thing barely left a hundred years, if that. That's the bring of a night to us, my gypsies. Why would anyone bother to care about such social lives? They do have a point. No, no, Nesherada, Virgia, humans worry about such short lives. Isn't that right, Eliki Poo? I understand how you feel, I really do. You know, assuming that these people are immortal, I kind of understand why they are not so keen about making friends with non mortals because, you know, Time is pretty much, n no matter how long it is, it's nothing to them because they're not, they don't measure their lives if it's infinite. So I can understand where they're coming from. I don't understand if you don't understand at all. Well, just tell us we're close, Wind. The boy heard it for Dragopato. Quite rambunctious, I might add. Barely seem concerned about his own short little life. She suicide much? If you go now, you might just might catch him in time. Drag a blad tell you, say? Eh? Friend, let's hurry there. Drag a plateau, essentially right behind the Essentially right behind the cave. Friend! Of course you're ready to get to plot Drag a plateau went through the cave behind this house. Most probably went through the cave too. There's nothing to worry about, Flint. But you're not getting very far being as tense as you are. What you need to do is smile. Understand? Yes. Yeah, okay. But you still don't seem very tense, if you ask me. For peace sakes, it is my son. Oh my god! Guys! I'm getting you very rare things left and right. See that man right there? Let me tell you. Every time you enter an area with a hot spring, there is a less, actually just around 1% chance that you'll encounter this man. During my last playthrough of this game, I actually did encounter him um, in a much later hot spring, still relatively early in the game, but I never expect to come across him in the first chapter. Especially. All he says is yes. Um, there's also a chance that a woman will appear here as well, though. Simply say, mix, mixed gender bathing. Um, what's, in, what's very interesting is that... Um, there's another, there's a later part of the game where you're, where every, where your screen is distorted. And when that happens, when this guy appears, he'll actually look like a mad gypsy, while the woman will look like uh, the man that we met at Butch's farm. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab some milk. Wow, you're good at that. Since you're playing with something that's equivalent to a... Never mind. Anyways, you'll find that it's very dark in here. So it's very simple, just go ahead and open your inventory and just teach your Pokemon HM Flash. Oh wait, we're not playing Pokemon. Flint! It's pretty blurred in here, but never fear. I've been through here many times, so leave it to me. But more importantly, that super seriously look on your veils will only bring us trouble. You gotta relax, understand? Very well. Since this is the only path we can go through, you can just barely see 
on what's around the light, so you can detect um, presence. Well, that's at the fork in the road. Well, if we go north, I believe there's a bunch of Mr. Baddies. Which we can ram right through. Don't get any experience from them. Well, we got some peculiar, peculiar cheese. Very nice. Go north here. Well, over there is a crag lizard and there aren't any presents behind it, so let's just keep going north. Stop for a second. There should be all around here finding a jump down it. As you can see, there were moles up there. Follow the southeast passage. We find a crag lizard there and was a present. Okay, very easy battle. I should tell you about Alec. He's a lot like Picky, in which, if you consider Thomas similar to Pokey, as where Pokey didn't do any damage at all. Um, Piggy will, on very rare occasion, do damage, but it will only do 1 HP worth of damage. Uh, Beef Jerky. What can we get rid of that for that? Uh, I don't need the Ares Graceless anymore. Well, let's remove that and get the Beef Jerky. Alright, now he said it had south. Oh, oh, Flinty Poo. Oh. Don't with my magic impression. Do you like it? Relax, relax. I'll tell this early in advance, head south. Well, if you move here, you'll find a present, I believe. Actually, no, that's just a vine that takes you right back to the entrance. If we fell down the hole, that will bring you right back up. Head west from here. But first, grab this present. A running bomb. Very good. Uh, you know what? Use the... No, let's not eat waste of beef jerky. That's... I have no need for antidote anymore, so let's go ahead and grab the running bomb. Wait. Was that you? It was me. Okay, here's some moles. Okay, took it down on just a couple of hits. Uh, no, I do not care for a nut bread. I gave up on nut bread. How could I... It is so unlike me to give up on bread. Hold on a second. Being forgetful lately. Which way was it again? Was it north? There's actually nothing north. He thinks that the vine is to the north, but he's actually wrong. Yes, he says, find it instead of find it. The fact that there's a vine here means that my direction just now was wrong. Sorry, want me to say a pun or something? Yeah, otherwise... Actually, I think he'll say a pun. North here, head north. Um, there's no present behind that crag lizard, so I'll just go ahead and bury Alec immediately. Flirty pie! Don't be embarrassed! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, more crag lizards. There's nothing behind that crag lizard, so. We made it this far, now we just need to. Uh, the vines go up because they're divine. Oh, come on, it's just a pun. Let's go up. Just a mole and another Mr. Batty. Go up. Actually, there's nothing there. Whoopsie. Man, they're dropping nut breads like crazy. Isn't it only a 30% chance? Go up the vines again. So there's vines over there. Is there anything over? Nope. Not even enemies. So let's go up. And nearly run. And here's the bridge that was torn off. That's the other side of where the caribou was. And 
said, you know what, there's a... There's a safe frog right there, and honestly, I think that is a very good place to end the video, so... Next time on Let's Play Mother 3, um, we're just gonna continue on and hopefully complete Chapter 1. I'll see you guys next time. Very weird music. <laughs>